Excuse me, little dog. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Well, it was getting to be a pretty fine day here in the end times here in the drought plagued bugs in a jar farm here it is sunday july 31st i had just uh while well, that other fellow over that other channel had just wrapped up his sunday uh rant and heard the bad news from uh our sister in the Doomosphere, Sandy Shellis, just let me know, gave me the bad news that our old uh, crusty, <laughs> I guess we can, he wouldn't mind me calling him crusty, uh, but certainly uh, articulate, I'll say, uh, our crusty articulate chronicler of the collapse, Marty McCorkle. Marty McCorkle has uh, gone off to that big, uh, where do doomers go when we die? But he is, uh, Marty McCorkle has checked out and headed off to his next adventure. And let's hope wherever Marty is, uh, is a little better than this madhouse that he left. But I'll have to give, I, I never talked to Marty. Never actually met the man over the phone. He lives off in the Philippines or somewhere like that. Never got to met the, meet the man, but I have certainly enjoyed his uh, incisive comments about the state of the planet over the past few years. And uh, so we're going to it was just in, in the last week, these, these comments from the last week I'm going to share the last two comments that uh, I ever got from Marty McCorkle about the state of the planet right up to the end. He, Marty died yesterday, apparently, on Saturday, July 30th. So five days before Marty left us, this was uh, his, you know, signing off. <clears throat> okay, from four days before he signed off. <clears throat> Keep breeding, champs. Human population overshoot is like some dizzy izzy, some dizzy izzy. You know, I don't recognize, I think Marty might originally be English. Uh, not sure about that, I'm not, so I'm not sure what a dizzy izzy is. Keep breeding, champs. Human population overshoot is like some dizzy Izzy picking up a drifting buck from the interstate <coughs> and catches a greyhound bus in the small of the back. <coughs> the greyhound is population dieback, the big human die-off. So sad though other species clap their flippers, hooves, and wings in a burst of applause. Those animals. Who would think you cannot have kids and consume more, more, and then more, more, forever? So unfair for us humans masters of the universe, at least according to the invisible sky demon that hates gay men. <clears throat> uh, Marty was gay, by the way, was what that, was what that comment uh, was about. Apocalypse is full on, even if <clears throat> sky demon's brat Jesus H. fails to make a show as starvation starts putting its back into culling the human breeding herd. So everyone will be happy. The I told you sowers, the preppers, the bunker billionaires, the middle class expecting disappointment. Bony Gen Wires, 
the climate bloggers and vloggers, the non-humans, the trees slated for burning and power plants, even Chris Hedges, a breeder, will feel good for having milked some articles out of collapse. So, big whoop, humans got gonged off the stage. Next contestant. All right, and the final comment from Marty McCorkle, which I guess was written probably three days before uh, he said, adios to the doomosphere and the planet. Take it away, Marty McCurkle. Oh no, absurdly self-contradictory policies regarding increased fossil fuel usage and climate protection pretending? Wowee, how unlike the politicians on West Wing. We should all hop on jets and have a protest somewhere. Of course, we won't consume less or outlaw private jets or reduce births worldwide. That sounds like a lot of work <clears throat> just for a boring, livable planet. Let's use paper straws instead. <clears throat> and when someone says population overshoot, we will pretend we are teaching the world to tweet in perfect harmony. Spoiler alert, humans, your apex predator position, position is being phased out. Earth headquarters decided. Expect eviction notices in the form of climate disasters suited to your region. Nothing personal, it's just business based on physics. Humans are a temporary overshoot nuisance that will shortly die back, as all species in overshoot die back. Nature has not installed overshoot air brakes on any of her creations so they end up dying in their own pollutants and resource depletions. Molds on a sandwich act like us, and beer yeast, and foxes. You see, we are just another experiment pulled off by nature whose funding is negligible but has an earth-sized lab. Nature is moving on from humans to the next contestant, maybe cockroaches or giant rats. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> Amen. Uh, the late, great uh, brother Marty McCorkle wishing the rest of us, uh, the left behind, uh, good luck. Thank you uh, for wishing us all good luck uh, on your way out, Marty. And uh, brother, it has been a pleasure uh, sort of getting to know you. And we will miss the wit and wisdom of Marty McCorkle uh, in the future. R.I.P. Marty. Marty had a little dog, I think, that looked a whole lot like Sancho Panza. Marty was actually a uh, very, uh, well, I don't know how well-renowned he was, but he was an artist, you know, who really actually survived on his income as an artist. And I know that uh, a lot of his paintings that he did uh, have a little dog that looks a whole lot like Sancho Panza. Uh, I think Sandy Shellis at Environmental Coffee House 
I think she uh, might be preparing a eulogy to Marty and she's going to share some of his artwork with us. But I do not know that for sure, but you can find Marty's excellent uh, artwork uh, online. Marty McCorkle, M-C-C-O-R-K-L-E. And with that, the little dog and I are heading off into the apocalypse. Bye, guys.